Always Igor happy to know you not customer. Yet. The Hectopus seems somehow calmer as you present the Dark One sign. Bad place. <laughs> very bad place. Go away. You'll be very sorry. You push the Dark One sign into the indentation on the door. It fits perfectly. This amazingly lifelike sculpture looks like a cross between a baby troll and a hermit or dervish. It fits the description of a domovoi, except that it's totally dried out and unmoving. Very wet be I, very wet and very alive. Glad am I to be alive, happy thanks I give you. Careful you should be here, dangerous very it is. Feed the guard or destroy it to find the secret passage down. You light and extinguish this torch in the usual way, but it's obviously magical, since it never seems to burn down. That didn't do anything. That. That didn't do anything. You have just gained the paladin ability to sense the presence of danger. The flame quickly catches in the desiccated rug and spreads to the curtains and the furniture. You'd better get out of here quickly. You retrieve the Dark One sign from the monastery door, then quickly step away before the Hectopus can react. <laughs> if Igor get big hero job, can he be pyromaniac too? Nice fire. You tell why you burned the monastery. Next time, bring Igor marshmallows. <coughs> that smoke make Igor want to start coughing. <laughs> Little graveyard humor there. <laughs> building rock, not burn other buildings. Bad building, burn. Good. Give Igor heebie-jeebies. <laughs> it looks pretty much as you'd expect. If Igor be adventurer, can Igor be arsonist too? What are you looking for? <sighs> I'm getting so much needed relaxation now. I don't have to worry about that annoying stranger getting into trouble. You've proven quite capable of taking care of yourself. I heard that someone burned down the old monastery. Isn't it strange how you were seen around that building recently? Tell Olga about what you've been doing in Mordavia. And be sure and keep me... What would you like? I have heard tell you were seen near the monastery not long after the folks noticed the fire. I'm not saying you did it. But I'm glad you did. And that place was a menace to our town. You take care. Don't want to... <laughs> As my lost husband used to...
The strangest thing happened. Someone broke into the old monastery and burned the place down. I don't suppose you'd know anything about this. Is it not a coincidence that I smell smoke as you draw near? You describe the evil, the terrible evil you found within the monastery, and how you felt it was necessary to burn the place to the ground so that the evil would not spread. Perhaps I should learn to value your judgment. It is a good thing the place is destroyed. It looks as if most of the inside was pretty much burned away. It is no great loss to the town and a vast improvement. There are rumors that you have entered the monastery before. It was a bad place and it is good that it is now gone. I keep having this suspicion that you will be getting into even more trouble than you have already. It seems to be your nature. Good luck. Greetings and welcome to our camp. You are a stranger no longer. When you saved me from death, our lives became intertwined. Henceforth, you are to be known as a gypsy friend. <laughs> Come now, I will take you to the leader of our camp. So, you are the one my son spoke of. You saved his life. You also entered fearlessly into our den of wolves. You are a man of great courage. We gypsies owe you for our Davy, and I believe we will owe you for things to come. Welcome. I am the fortune teller. I will teach you a spell. It will protect you against the dead that rise again. I think you will find this most useful in your questings. A gypsy fortune teller touches your head briefly. Magic flows through you. Now you know the aura spell. Now, let us learn more of you. Why have you come here? And what do you seek? Oh my, for an outsider, you are most polite. The Gypsy Fortune Teller is a very beautiful older woman. She has a look of pride and confidence about her. Her eyes are dark and fierce, but not unkindly. The flickering candlelight adds an air of mystery to your appearance. Gypsy Davy shifts his gaze between you and the fortune teller from time to time. He obviously holds her in great respect. We gypsies are not werewolves. We are shapeshifters. We take on the form of wolves for hunting. You can call me Davy. 
Names are very important. Davy is my name to outsiders. I also have a gypsy name and a true name. True names are not given lightly. Gypsies never ask others for their names. Never say your true name. Never speak the true name of another. To say another's true name aloud gives you power over him, if you are indeed more powerful. Otherwise, it gives him power over you. We are roving traders. Our home is our wagon and campfire. We would have left this valley long ago if the flooding had not washed away the road and filled the mountain pass with swamp. The road from the town used to lead to the pass to the southwest. That was the only way in and out of this valley. This swamp is an ill place, and we gypsies stay far from it. I was borrowing some corn from the cornstalks outside the town when the Burgomeister and some townsmen came from the gate. I moved behind the cornstalks to stay out of their way. They looked to be heading to the graveyard. Then, one of them pointed at me and shouted, and suddenly, they all grabbed me. I had no chance to run. I had no idea what was going on. I knew gypsies were disliked in the village, but I did not know we were so feared. There are many legends about that ogress. We gypsies avoid her when we can. She is dangerous to enemies, and she takes offense easily. She has her hut to the south. There is some sort of magic hiding the pathway there. Her only weakness is her love of food. Be careful if you need to approach her. The Rusalka of the lake near here has been dead for many, many years. You cannot bring her back to life, but you can free her spirit. Our legends tell of the way to free the spirit of one who was murdered. First, she must know who she was and remember how she died. Then you must take the hair of the dead woman and weave it into a broom. You beat the broom three times upon the murderer's grave, and he will come forth. Hmm. This act can be very dangerous. Now, if the ghost of the murderer rises, it will attack you. So you must be ready to destroy it. The last thing you must do is to give the spirit that which she truly desires. Then, at last her spirit will be freed and she will rest. I have been gifted by true sight and foreknowledge. These are gifts with knife edges. Oh, I have seen my own death and knew my true love's death the day I met him. Still, it is most useful. I will read your fortune in the cards, if you wish. You have only to cross my palm with silver. So much for the legends about werewolves, huh? Or at least, a coin of value. But I warn you, no future is fixed. What the cards show of the future can happen, but only if you take the actions to create this future. And it is not easy to determine what those actions are, dear. Such is life. This valley has always been a nexus of power. Magic is very strong here. My people for generations come here to renew and strengthen their ties to the mystical ways. My dear, we are not the only ones drawn by this power. The magician Irana created a magical refuge here. Others, more dark, were drawn here as well. 
Oh, be wary and watchful at all times here. The magic of this land has become twisted, and there are many dangers around you. Oh. There are many places and things of magic around here, and I am certain you will come across them in your travels. Irana was a powerful magician who came from this area. There is a garden in the forest which she created. Oh, it is such a place of safety for all who visit there. It is said that her final resting place is near here as well. Her staff stands in the town and protects those within the walls from outside harm. There are some things about which even I dare not speak. Even thinking about such creatures attracts them. Let us hope that you never need know of such matters. Creatures of the night, shapeshifters, skin changers. We are man or beast by our own will. To run on four legs, to howl at the moon, to chase the terrified prey through the hills. This is what it is to be truly alive. Oh, 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 oh. oh the legend of the werewolf is but a folk tale. We change our shape when we choose, not because the moon is in some silly phase. We are the beast with the mind of a man, and a man with the mind of a beast. It is not normally our way to speak so freely to outsiders. So why do I say so much to you? Because you need to know we are not your enemies. You have too many questions that cannot be answered. And your ignorance may be your doom. There is much to you. Your actions to come will affect us all. Do not doubt it. Therefore, I will speak honestly and openly on what I can. Now, I can see by your eyes that our future is linked to you, for weal or woe. are the roving people, the tinkers and traders and tellers of fortunes. We are the dancers in the night and the music in the wilderness. We are the untamed ones who live only by our own rules. We own no land and no land owns us. The world is ours for the travel. You may call me Magda. That is the name I go by with you, Gorgios. Gorgio is the word we call anyone who is not a gypsy. You tell about the gnome and his problems. Hmm, interesting. Baba Yaga has returned only recently to this valley. We have had scent of her to the far south. But the path to her hut is blocked by magic. You will need to find a way past that magical barrier. You tell her about the frightening dream. Dreams are messages. Such a message may be obscure or meaningful, depending upon the sender and the dreamer. 
The meaning of this dream may be clearer when you have had more of them. You tell about how you got here. The dark cave? You escaped from there? Ah, oh, you are very powerful and lucky. I would guess that a summoning spell went wrong. That cave interferes with all magic around here. But it is best not to speak of that cave. Someone brought you here for some unknown purpose. Hmm, most interesting. <laughs> You tell about how you the but You tell the gypsies your name. We are honored to know your name. It is a good name, a strong name. <laughs> you bear it well. Now, you listen to the words of an old gypsy fortune teller. You will initiate this reading of the cards. The shuffling and cutting attunes the cards to those vibrations which surround you. You do not control the cards, nor do I. It is the cards which show what they choose to show. I will reveal to you the meanings of the cards. It is up to you to interpret how they affect you. You may reveal the first card. The first card is the significator. It is the symbol of the subject of the reading. This is the Knight of Swords. This card represents a person who is courageous and skilled. This is one who holds the ideal of chivalry and goodness. One who is willing to face death gladly, to uphold what he knows is right and true. This card clearly represents you, and therefore this reading is about you. The cards which surround the significator represent the influences which affect your current situation. This next card represents something from the distant past which is relevant to the here and now. Turn over this card and reveal the influence of your past. This card is the High Priestess. It is inverted, which means the meanings too are turned upside down. The High Priestess is some woman of your past. She is a person of selfishness and passion. Someone who seems to be very powerful, but her knowledge is limited by her own conceit. Turn over the next card to reveal more of this individual. The Four of Coins. Now that is the card of the miser. This woman of your past has power, but uses it selfishly. This is a person who cares only of her own needs and wants, and does not care what she does or how she influences others. This person is one who, as long as you satisfy her needs and vanity, will be willing to aid you, providing it does not require any amount of effort on her part. However, if you act against her, her vengeance will be swift and violent. This is not a person to disregard, and she plays an important part in the events around you. Reveal the next card, something of the more recent past, which has consequences in the present. This is the inverted king of coins. This is an old and vicious man, someone who is willing to use any means to attain his desires. Someone who is dangerous and cannot be trusted or underestimated. 
Reveal the next card, that we may learn more of this person. <gasps> the devil! This is indeed an ill omen. This person is influenced by black magic, a man of power and dark desires. Yet, the devil is a sign of bondage and subservience, and this person has faced unexpected failure of some sort. This is someone of great evil, someone who cannot be trusted. This is one who will bear you ill will, yet is somehow prevented from harming you or gaining his revenge for now. Should he gain his freedom, this man will seek to destroy all which stands between his goals and himself. Turn over the next card to reveal a surrounding influence. Ah, the Queen of Cups. Again, there is a female influencing your present. This is a woman of wisdom and love. She is kind, generous, and virtuous. Let us see what next the cards reveal of this person. The Star. It is a symbol of hope and spiritual influence. Now this is a woman in touch with her magical nature. She is gentle and loving, yet there is great strength within. This is a woman who generates hope and help through her actions. The next card reveals the overriding influence upon the future. the Queen of Swords. She is a woman of wit and skill, yet she has suffered through terrible hardship, and she is marked by her suffering. Oh, she faces her sorrows bravely, but with a deep, deep loneliness. The next card will tell us more about her. The moon. It is the card of deception. This woman is a deceiver, or is deceived by her own beliefs. This card also reveals the magical nature of the woman. This is the strength which sustains her. Oh, she is either surrounded by false friends, or seeks to betray you herself. She is the victim, or the villainess. The final card will reveal the influence which will most affect you. The Void. Mm. About this card, I will not speak. I must meditate upon its meaning. This tableau shows the influences surrounding you. These people will affect your life for weal or for woe. It is up to you to determine how and what effect they will have upon you. That is all that the cards and I can reveal at this time. Make what you will of your fortune. I will speak no more of it. You say goodbye. Ah, you weary of talk. <laughs> Good. You are a guest with us tonight. Let us join the others for food, drink, and dance, huh? I hope you will enjoy the hospitality of my people. You spend the evening in the joyful company of the gypsies. The gypsies seem to have gone all out to make you welcome in their camp. You've eaten a rich, spicy stew with no garlic, with fresh bread, and plenty to drink. Now it's time to relax and enjoy. Come, is she not beautiful? Ah, why do you hesitate? Go, join in the dance! After 
hours of carousing with the gypsy wolves, you find yourself curling up into a comfortable position near the fire pit and sinking into a deep and dreamless sleep. <laughs>